prendre en charge 4 millions de réfugiés dans la région. Nous sommes un service public, hein, un service d'éducation, l'école, le service de santé, les travaux publics, ceci avec un personnel de 22 000 employés. For the past 60 years, UNRWA is a nest for education of hatred, for incitement against Israel, against Jews. And instead of rehabilitation of these refugees, they are working for eternalization of the problem. For the past 60 years, they teach the kids in the school for Palestinian children to hate Israel, to destroy Israel, to become terrorists. We had in the Jabalia incident a few days ago, and then with our compound in Gaza, exactly those accusations that there were militants inside our compound. At the same time, Israeli military officials were telling us in meetings that they knew for a fact that the militants were not inside our compound, were several hundred meters away. The evidence uh, was, uh, became clear after the 2002 raid on the camp of Janine by the Israeli Defense Forces. Uh, and the evidence on turn there uh, clearly showed that uh, the UNRWA was helping uh, administer Janine as a refugee camp, uh, but in the process was also turning a blind eye to the terrorist activities emanating from that camp. After a June 2003 vote where 80,000 individuals voted, the Islamic bloc representing the terrorist group Hamas gained 23 of the 27 trade union seats. A London article in Philistine al-Muslima, a Hamas magazine, congratulates itself while calling for the continuation of jihad. The annual budget of UNRWA is $400 million. The U.S. pays 25%. Not one Arab oil-producing country participates, except as a symbolic member. The Israeli assessment goes directly to UNRWA, but without crediting Israel for this contribution. Each employee of UNRWA benefits from what we call in English a provident fund, that is, a sort of fund of guarantee for his retirement qui est alimenté par les cotisations euh, des employés, mais surtout par les cotisations de l'UNRWA euh, comme employeur. Cet argent est investi euh, en actions et en obligations. C'est un système qui, qui, je veux dire, est assez unique dans son genre. Et les employés de l'UNRWA, de ce point de vue, sont privilégiés par rapport euh, aux autres. Quand ils partent en retraite, ils touchent un capital. All of Africa, you can feed in such a huge amount of money. As much as we are hoping that the UN will treat the refugee problem seriously, we only kid ourselves, because the UN is basically a political organization. The Arab League needs the refugee problem in order to maintain its cohesion against Israel. If you visit Gaza, there is a whole neighborhood, Sheikh Radwan. In the early 70s, Israel started to settle refugees in decent houses, built by Israel's civil administration. And there was a whole campaign by the PLO and the others to prevent the refugees of going and living in these, uh, in these houses in Sheikh Radwan. So it is very, very clear that uh, there was no interest in any kind of interim solutions because this was the dynamo of uh, the national Palestinian movement. 
Since 1971, and for close to 10 years, the UN General Assembly condemned Israel every year for its attempt to rehabilitate the Palestinian refugees. This condemnation always carried one requirement, send the refugees to the camps.